Have you ever asked the question, should you fear God? God says fear not, right? But what about when God says to fear him? What about sinners on their way to hell? Should they not be scared for their life, for what God can do, for the punishment that God can bring? Well, gotquestions.org, which I don't recommend as a place to go to for all your answers, thorough answers, of course. But gotquestions.org would say that the fear of God is just a reverence of God, a deep respect. And gotquestions.org brought up a valid point saying that some people use this idea of fearing God in the complete opposite way in scaring people into thinking they're going to lose their salvation if they don't obey God, if they don't do certain things. And we have got to have a proper understanding of the fear of God. But let's look at the Bible. Let's look at Psalm 2.11 that says, Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. So it's not just fear that we're talking about. It's trembling added to it. Is that just a deep respect for God? You look at Philippians 2.12 and it says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Can we explain that away as just a deep respect for God? And we look at Psalm 25.12 and see what man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. If we're ever going to learn anything from God, gain wisdom and knowledge from him, we've got to have a fear of him. Proverbs tells us that the, the fear of God is the beginning of all of this. So we've got to understand this idea of fearing God. And we've got to understand that a deep respect, a reverence of God, is only part of fearing God. See, when we fear God, we will live committed. We will live in a proper understanding of His holiness, who He is, and His love. And be able to live peaceful lives, confident lives, courageous lives in his strength, knowing how powerful he is. So believer, I would consider carefully and look into it myself. What does it mean to fear God?